shouting, Ma. Are you okay? Just get back to your desk, Angela. I'm fine. Ma, get back to your desk. I'm gonna leave without you. I'm not going back to yesterday. Baby, goodbye. I'm on my way. I can't believe it is true. It doesn't matter what you're gonna say. Yeah. My mom has fallen ill again. I don't know how long I'll be gone for. Take care of yourself, Choma. Somewhere. It's none of your business. See, you see. If you're going to the police station, I would strongly advise you not to. At least not now. Let them concentrate on finding your your husband. I beg of you. I beg you. In the name of God, please leave me alone. I have so much going on right now. And I just, oh, I just can't do this. Please, Lucy, leave me alone. Whether you like to admit it or not, you need my help. And that is what I'm here to do. I left you on notice and I'm not ready to do that anymore. Please, let me help you. I'm so sorry, but that's just the way it is. We can talk tomorrow if you're not up for it. It's okay, I'm fine. I'm used to this. I cry almost every day. And that's no way to live life. Says the runaway ex-husband. Lucy, I... The questions, please. When was the last time you heard from her? That was the morning you passed by the office. On my way to work, she called me asking if she could wear my shoes. How did she sound over the phone? She sounded normal. And I could remember I was teasing her about the fact that she always loved to borrow my stuff. And we laughed about it. If she was up to something, she didn't show it. So nothing else is missing apart from the file? Yes. And I had even asked her about the file. And she lied to me that she hadn't seen it. Did you go through the file? And what was the content? <laughs> That's the thing. I didn't get the chance to open up the file. I just kept forgetting to look through it. I wish I had just opened it up for just a second to see what was in it. Stop blaming yourself. You wouldn't have known she was going to take it. <laughs> wow. Chioma. Chioma was the last person standing. I woke up every day so thankful that she was the only one by my side. 
I mean, how can she lie to me? I'll find her. I promise. I, I'm going upstairs to get some rest. I'm coming down with a headache. Find my way out. You can close the door behind you or just leave the key under the mat. You see. Everything will be fine. Learning to live without you. Saying goodbye to yesterday. No looking back, I'm on my way I can believe, but I'll do Doesn't matter what you're gonna say I pray to find a better day I'm so sorry, but that's just the way it is Too late to keep asking myself should I leave? Should I stay? Are you okay? You still haven't answered my question. What are you doing here? I don't remember asking you to spend the night here. I'm just looking out for you, okay? I left, but I kept having this bad feeling about you being this big house all by yourself. So I came back. Alex, I am not a child, okay? This is not right. What is not right? You spending the night here. I am married for heaven's sake. Really? Well, I, I don't see your husband around here. I beg your pardon? What did you just say? Sorry. Listen, I do not want to see you here by morning. To keep asking myself Should I leave? Should I stay? Should I taste how it feels to walk away? Cause if I leave, I'm not sure where I'll be going Cause I can't stand the chance of starting all over again Good day, sir. Uh, sorry to have kept you waiting. That's okay. You said you had wanted to see me. Um, any news on Fred? I'm sorry, but still no news. But I can assure you we are still on it. And actually, I called you here to talk about your ex-husband. Alex? What about him? Not to be seen as somebody who is prying into your privacy or anything. It's just that I think you should be far away from him as much as possible. At least until we round up our investigations on this case. Okay. First of all, I am staying away from him. And second of all, I thought you said Alex had nothing to do with Fred's disappearance. Or is there any reason I should think otherwise? <laughs> No, 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 not at all. Uh, somebody who cares so much. Thank I you. Wanna... I appreciate you looking out for me. It's okay. It's okay. Is your friend back? No, she's not. 
So you're in that house all alone? Have you forgotten I have Abdullahi? My ever loyal gatekeeper? I know, but that's not what I'm talking about. I am fine on my own, sir. Okay then, okay then. I was just looking out for you. Thank you. Oh wow. Madam, please, I have, a, I have a message for you. Message? Message from who? Uh, from a... Uh, Naman. Naman who came here. <laughs> Naman who came to sleep here. <laughs> but uh, he didn't go there. Madam. Ah! What a bombshell! That man fine. Madam, that man is so fine. He has this hexagon body, madam. Is it even fan pass or girlfriend? I'm telling you. You guys... Abdullah, will you just give me the message? Uh, okay. Uh, he said I should tell you that uh, don't cry. Eat more. Don't worry. Listen. Do not let him enter this house again. Do you hear me? Yes, madam. But madam, any problem? Because <laughs> what's the problem? I won't warn you again. Why? Why? I'm good, yourself? <laughs> Auntie Lucy, I know you are upset with me for not being keeping in touch with you since since. No, I'm not upset with you, Pat. Come on. I know you're always rooting for me. Okay. How's everybody? How's my man everybody? Auntie Lucy, Mama collapsed yesterday. As I speak to you now, she's on admission at the hospital. Oh my God, what happened? The doctor said she has brain tumor and has to be operated on as soon as possible. But, but the money they're asking for, we don't have it. I'm confused. What do you mean you don't have the money? I know Fred sends you both huge sums of money as monthly allowance. You caught 200 CDs huge sum of money. 200 what? But first said he... Auntie Lucy, please. I know the last time we were here, Mama was not nice to you. But please, help her. I've lost my brother Fred already. And I'm not willing to lose her too, please. You know what? Why don't we go to the hospital no, right no, now? No, 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 Auntie Lucy. Please, that would not be a good idea. You know how Mama gets anytime she sees you, please. All right, um, then I'll just sign you a check and then drop you off. Thank you, so really. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank that's you. That's all right, that's all right. I'm so grateful. Take care of Mama, all right? I will, I will, Auntie Lucy. Thank you so much. No clue who this is from. Trash it. Mom, trash it? Yeah. Mom, but it's very beautiful. Um, can I please have it? You can have it if you want it. Good day. Hi, good day. This is awesome. Yes, she is, but she's busy at the moment, so you have to wait a while. Okay. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Mm. Excuse me, sir. Hello? Yes, please. Okay. 
The meeting is still on at 1 p.m. Okay. Please, ma'am, Mr. Alex is here to see you. Okay, I'll ask him in. Okay, thank you. Please, you may go in. Okay, thank you. Alex, what do you think you're doing? What am I doing? Dropping over at my house to check on me. Sending me flowers. That needs to stop, Alex. Well, the Lucy I know loves flowers, so... Well, I'm not the same woman you used to know. Thanks to you, I'm a different person now. <laughs> I did a major damage, didn't I? Like I said, stop what you're doing. I'm a married woman, and I don't intend to cheat on my husband. Oh, hold on. Hold it. And who is talking about cheating on your husband? <laughs> but that's what you feel like doing any time you look at me. Oh, don't you dare talk about my husband. He's ten times the man that you are. And unlike you, he stayed with his wife. I think I wanted to leave. I was madly in love with you then, and even now, nothing has changed. But your father. Oh, go ahead. Blame it on my father. Go ahead. Can you just listen to me? I don't want to, and I don't have to. Please, Lucy. Just leave. Department said, Madam, Madam, this is everything all right. Just, just, just give me a minute, okay? Okay, I will ask him to come back. Stashing away, Fred. What? <sighs> I'm confused. What do you mean you don't have the money? I know Fred sends you both huge sums of money as monthly allowance. You caught 200 CDs, huge sum of money. God. God, what do I do? Should I leave? Should I stay? Should I taste how it feels to walk away? Cause if I leave, I'm not sure where I'll be going cause I can't. What are you going to do now? I don't know. She made it clear this time around that she doesn't want to see me anymore. And since when do you do as you're told? This is different, Peter. How do I help someone who can't even stand me? I don't know. But you have to figure out something really fast. Yeah. I think I have to. 
to give her some space. I can imagine what she's going through right now. See, it can't be easy for her to allow me in after all that we've been through. Well... I guess you know what to do. You said you wanted to help me. Is the offer still on the table? Yes, of course. to know what really happened. Why you walked out of our marriage without a word and where you've been all these years. Your son is so cute. He's got your eyes. Yeah. I miss him so much. Lucy, I left because I was so ashamed. And looking back now, I wish I didn't do it. Ashamed? Why? We got married, then I lost my job. I wrote several applications for jobs and I didn't get any, you remember? I was so depressed and I didn't want you to know. So I kept a brave front. I, I never harassed or complained about you losing your job. Yeah, you didn't, but your father did. My father? He never missed the opportunity to always remind me that you are the one who pays the bills. And he taunted me with that every time. How can my father do such a thing? And why didn't you ever tell me this? I couldn't have because I didn't want to spoil the relationship between you and your father. Wow. Yeah. 
this definitely would have spoiled our relationship. I mean, you were my husband. And my father had no right to ever... Lucy. It's okay. It's all in the past now. Look at me. Leaving has done me lots of good. My only regret was that I left without telling you. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry, but that's just the way it is. Too late to keep asking myself. Should I leave? Should I stay? Should I taste how it feels to walk away? Cause if I leave, I'm not sure where I'll be going. Lucy, what's wrong? I got a call from Shama. What did she say? She wants to meet me. I hope you told her it's never going to happen. It's a risky thing to do. She stole from you, left your home without telling you where she was going. You have to think about that. I just want to hear what she has to say. I have no doubt whatever she's going to tell you will be lies. All lies. She can't be trusted, you know. Alex, she's my best friend. And for the sake of our friendship, at least I need to hear her out. Okay, that's fine. I'll go with you. Alex. Oh, I don't want to hear it. I can't let you go out there defenseless. And like I said, she can't be trusted. I'll go with you. Mention my name at Swag Abdullah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. So you haven't changed. How can I change, Oga? <laughs> change and eat what? <laughs> what a bombshell. <laughs> okay, um, it's loosening in. Eh? Madam. Uh, Madam left early this morning. She said uh, she's going to have some meeting with some people. I mean, important people. Yeah, <laughs> it's rather unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Any problem? <laughs> yes. Uh, no, no, no. It's like you're carrying the whole Ghana. <laughs> what a no bombshell. Problem. There's no problem. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Thank you. I'll see you. Oh, what is that? So, upon all these fans, Oga, Oga, why, 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 give you all these fans? You left here empty. Hey, Waga, please. What I hate is disappointment. What I hate is disappointment. I will, I will just give you fans and you come here, you will not give me anything. You understand? If you come here, when I give you fans, you give me something. Next time. Why? Why, 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 why? What a bombshell. Why did you go there alone? What if something bad happened to you? What were you thinking? I'm not a child that needs to be looked after every minute of the day. 
And how dare you raise your voice at me? I'll talk to you in this tone and anyhow I want it until you come to your senses. Then maybe it's time to stop helping me. I'll do fine on my own. Lucy. I'm sorry. I'm just worried about you. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. I'm fine. Shema didn't even show up. No, but still. I'm gonna leave without you. I'm not going back to yesterday. Baby, goodbye. I'm on my way. I'm so sorry. We shouldn't be doing this. Please, please stop. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. I'm gonna find a better day. I should be on my way now. I'm so sorry, but that's Bye. just the way it is. It is too late to keep asking myself. Should I leave? Should I stay? Should I taste how it feels to walk away? Cause if I leave, I'm not sure where I'll be going Cause I can't stand a chance of starting all over Hi, wife. It's so good to see both of you together again. Lucy, I told you you have nothing to worry about. Yes, you did. Thank you so much. But, but what really happened? I'll tell you everything, but first I need a shower. Thank you, my brother. You're welcome. Let me take a shower. <sighs> Baby, I miss you so much. Not tonight, okay? We need to get some rest. Babe, what rest again? I've been away for so long. All I just all I just want to do is to make love to you and kiss you all over. I want to know what happened. I've been asking you all day what happened to you. But you don't seem to care to answer me. I tried to make love to you after God knows how long and all you want to find out is what happened. Sometimes I even feel as if you are not even happy that I'm back. Now why would you say that? Do you know the pain and anguish I've been through? I woke up every morning with the fear that I'll be getting a call from the police to ask me to come claim your body. Well, that didn't happen. At least I'm back now. 
Okay? Isn't that all that matters? I want to know where you've been and what happened. You think I don't know what all this is about, huh? The DPO told me whilst I was away you were gallivanting with your ex. Me gallivanting? That's not true. Why would he say such a thing? That explains why you mentioned his name when you opened the door. Now who needs an explanation? Good night. For some strange reason, my alarm didn't go off. Oh, it did. I actually turned it off. Why would you do that? I'm late for work. Work? Yes, work. You just got back yesterday. So what's wrong with that? And you're here talking about going to the office today? Yeah, so. Honey, the office is not going anywhere. Besides, I'm handling things there very well. You need to get some rest. I've heard you, but I'm not in the mood for your little arguments this morning. Excuse me and have a nice day. My dear, you are just worrying yourself for nothing. Nothing is wrong with your husband. After all he's been through, I think you should cut him some slack. I know, it's just that there's something different about him. He's acting so strange. And when I want to help him out, he's making it difficult for me to do that. He has even refused to tell me about the whole incident. Your husband had a very traumatic experience in the hands of those kidnappers. Just give him some time, Lucy. He will come around. Stop pressurizing him to talk to you about it. I know. I have been hard on him. He wanted to go to work this morning, but I wouldn't hear him out. He did? Yeah. Well, if that would help him, just allow him. Hmm. I guess you're right. Yeah, that reminds me. Fred said you told him about me and Alex. What? I did no such thing. You know I wouldn't do that. Besides, what's there to tell? Exactly. So, I was so shocked when he said you told him about myself and Alex. Do you now understand why he said he's acting strange? For him to have told you this, then I must agree with you. Angela, the file's ready. Because I need to submit it to the man and he needs. Alex, what are you doing here? I needed to talk to you, but you aren't picking your calls. And I'm sure you know the reason why. No, I don't. Um, you tell me. Alex? Fred is back. Yeah, I know. It's part of the reasons I wanted to talk to you. How did you know he was back? Well, well, well. 
If it isn't my lovely wife, the ex. <laughs> I thought you said you're not galavanting with him. What is he doing here? I mean, it's not her fault. I'm the one bothering her. And for whatever it worth, uh, she's not betrayed you. I think I have to leave now. You shameless woman. Your husband goes missing and you just run into the arms of your ex. Fred, I didn't do anything wrong. Unbelievable. Shameless. Fool. Thanks for the call. Very much welcome, sir. very upset with me about everything that happened yesterday at the office. I know you're very upset about Alex. But I'm asking for your forgiveness. Please. Please forgive me. You know I cannot stay upset with you for a long time. Because I love you very much. So yes, I've forgiven you. Thank you. But promise me that you're gonna stay away from Alex. Promise I will. I think it's about time you go back to work. Really? But you're doing such a great job there. No, you always did a better job in handling things over there. I've missed you, boss. It's good to have you back. Thank you. Let me leave you to go back to work then. You know it's my own job and I can work anytime. Is that how to say welcome to your boss? You need to sit. I do not have much time. Lucy, please. Sit. 
Shan, I trusted you. Trust me. Please, Please listen to her first. Lucy, I know you have lots of questions to ask, but I need you to listen to me first. <sighs> Thank God you're all right. Why wouldn't I be? Fred is back, isn't he? He told you. Yes. <sighs> Lucy, there is something you need to know. Freddy told Alex everything. Why didn't you come to me first? Alex found me when I was taken. He saved my life. Looks like you had a busy day. Yeah, um, I did, but I'm happy to be back home. I'm just going to freshen up. Your mother was sick while you were away. Yeah, why? Pat came here asking for money. And I was quite surprised. Can you just get straight to the point? She said she had no money. So? You told me that you sent them huge sums of money. Let me explain something to you. This should be the first and last you ever question me about something like this. It is my family and don't you ever interfere. Do you understand me? Thank you. the supermarket. You want me to come with you? Oh no, don't bother yourself. I'm going to the salon afterwards. <sighs> okay, all right, stay safe. All right, I won't be long. Uh, yeah, she just left the house. I want to know exactly what she's up to. Okay, thanks. I should be the one asking you. You're the one going out every day. Remember I told you that I wanted to start my own vlog? Well, that's what I've been working on. I've been meeting up with Chiyama's cousin. She's helping me out. So right now, where are you off to? I'm actually going to meet her for more lessons. All right, have a nice day. All right, thank you. Stuff. All right, I'll see you later. There's food in the kitchen, okay? Lucy, what are you up to? Hello? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. Everything went as planned. He saw the file, but he didn't react the way I thought he would. But I noticed he had this look of surprise in his face. I'm sure he'll be very worried by now. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right then. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi, darling. 
How was your day? <sighs> Wonderful, because your wife is going to become the latest blogger in the country very soon. You're a bloody liar. What? I'm not daft, Lucy. I know you've not been meeting with Choma's cousin for blogging lessons or whatever. What are you talking about, Fred? You spoiled brat. You better talk to me or I swear I'm gonna kill you. Stop talking now! Oh, Fred. You're not gonna kill me because you need me. <laughs> you're just like your arrogant father. Well, give me the company document. Or else you're gonna end up like your father. Yes, we disagreed on a lot of things. Your father made me the head of the company, but guess what? He was still running the show from behind. He was still running the affairs. And then a deal came through, I brought the deal, and then he cut me loose. He made sure I didn't get anything from that deal. So you killed my father because of a deal? Believe it or not, your father was not a saint. You asked me why my mother did not have money? Well, guess what? It was all your father's doing. My father died because he didn't have money for his surgery. And your father made sure I didn't get any penny outside my meager salary. Because he felt I was living the life. He felt I was driving luxurious cars and I was living in his house. I don't, I don't understand. I thought... You thought wrong, my dear. Your father hated me so much. He thought I was a gold digger. He saw me as somebody who was just living a flamboyant lifestyle. I figured the only way to get back at him was to kill him and to get everything that he owned. Well, my father was right about you. You think I don't know about the file? Chioma told me everything about how you abducted her and faked your own kidnapping. You are a despicable man. And evil will catch up with you. If you wanted to walk away, why didn't you do so? Why did you have to do all of this? To leave? Never. Everything here belongs to me. Everything belongs to me. And as for Choma, my boys were just careless. Well, you better get ready for it, right? Because Alex is on to you! Don't you ever call ah! that name here again. Do you understand me? Well, thanks for reminding me. Because I have a new problem to solve. Shit, I have my phone downstairs. She's not peeking up. Something is not right. I think so too. I don't know what is going on, but I've been calling her since yesterday and she's not been picking up. I really hope she's okay. I swear to God, if he harms a single hair on her head, I'll kill him. Calm down. Calm down, man. Instead of swearing, let's look out for a way to help Lucy. I know Lucy's in trouble. We need to figure out a way to help her as soon as possible. We all know who Fred is and what he's capable of doing. I know. Yeah. I think I have an idea. I didn't know how to get your number, I would have called you. Called me? Yes. Why? Lucy left home yesterday to the supermarket and she hasn't been back since. I see. What, you think I'm lying? 
I don't think you're lying. I know you were lying. Where's she? me for this long. It's okay. It's all over now. You called a DPU, right? Yes. He should be here any moment from now. How did this happen? Lucy will explain everything to you. You just got back yesterday. So what's wrong with that? And you're here talking about going to the office today? I've heard you, but I'm not in the mood for your little arguments this morning. Excuse me. Let me explain something to you. This should be the first and last you ever question me about something like this. It is my family and don't you ever interfere. Do you understand me? You better talk to me or else I swear I'm gonna kill you. So you killed my father because of a deal? Wow. I can't believe Fred did all this. He even faked his own kidnap? Um, apart from me, have you told any other person? No. I told him you were the best person to contact. Good, good. You did the right thing. Alex, please come with me. Shut up, both of you! I've been in on this from the very beginning. Why do you think I convinced you not to run an autopsy on your father when he died? You? Surprise, surprise. <laughs> yes! Fred was an enemy of your father, so I became his friend. Your father was a monster. I'm very greedy too. Do you know how he made his wealth? From cheating others. 
I lost everything at the point in my life because of him. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that my father did that to you. But what would you achieve by killing me? I'm innocent in this. You shut up! If you had allowed Fred's plan to work, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. I'm sorry, but I have to do this. Please, please stop. Cheated death yet again. Yeah. What can I say? I'm a cat with nine lives. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming. You saved the day. You're welcome. <laughs> you must have been a fool to have left her. She is. No. See, I know. I'm not leaving her again. Anyway, you're not seeing what I'm seeing. Her friend is not bad either. to pick up Jim. Yeah. I know. But I understand if you don't want me to go with you. Of course I want you to come with me. He's your blood. What? I was pregnant when you left, Alex. No. No. I'm a father. Yes. Yes, you are. And I can't wait for your son to finally meet his real father. Oh. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Learning to live without you Saying goodbye to yesterday No looking back, I'm on my way I can believe, but I'll do Doesn't matter what you're gonna say 
I pray to find a better day. I'm so sorry, but that's just the way it is. Too late to keep asking myself, should I leave? Should I stay? Should I taste how it feels to walk away? Cause if I leave, I'm not sure where I'll be going Cause I can't stand the chance of starting all over